Hello, family. Today is January 29th, 2017. Today is Sunday supper, and I have come on to make some meatball subs. Now, to make these subs, family, we have a five pound chub of uh, ground beef. We're going to cut this down to about four pounds, so we're going to cut it off about somewhere up in there. We have some smoked provolone and some pond rolls, home style, some cheesy ones, some really good ones. We're going to season and make our meatballs with some breadcrumbs. We're going to season with seasoned salt, some Worcester sauce, black pepper, and some steak sauce. And we're going to also add some onion, mushroom, Lipton onion soup mix. So let's get started. It was probably about, I don't know, somewhere about this much was left in there.
Now we're going to begin to um, make our meatballs. I don't want them too, too tiny, so just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook this on the baking function. So we're going to go all the way over to oven and we're going to cook it at 350 degrees. And what we did was, let me pan up a little bit so you guys can see. I rolled all of them up, the full, about four pounds worth. Let me pull in a little bit better. I'm oh, sorry. I rolled up all of uh, the four pounds of ground beef and we're going to just simply bake it and just kind of watch it. Um, it should take maybe, I don't know, probably about 20-30 minutes maybe. But we're going to rotate them around a little bit to allow them to evenly brown. But we just want to be careful that we don't burn them or scorch them in any way. Hmm. Let me use my tongue. That would be better to flip them with. Wow. I think I'm going to wait until they cook a little bit more because I don't want to break them up. Let's allow them to cook a little bit more first before I disturb them. I'm gonna pour this grease off of here first, so I'll be right back. Let's cup let's pour this grease off first. Let's try it over there.
I have poured off the last grease. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some ragu roasted garlic, chunky tomato sauce on top of these guys. We're going to cut it down very low and allow it to simply simmer a little bit. I'm going to go back and watch the World Series and in about say 20 minutes I'll be ready to plate the kids up. Sunday supper. Me plus three. Wow, this smells so good. So what we're going to do, we're going to sprinkle some Worcestershire sauce on top here. Just to give that sauce a, just a kick up of flavor. And sprinkle a light coat of seasoned salt on top. Now let's get it plated up. My kids already know when it's time to start plating it up, don't they? My dogs will come far and wide when they know that it is time to start getting things plated up. Instead of cutting it the side, down the side, I opted more so of doing it in the center to kind of make it like a boat. Because we're, what we're going to do is we're going to simply put our meat inside of it. So we want to make it like a boat. We're going to toast this up so good first.
from my home to yours. Bon appétit, family.